Well, anyways, uh, update on the job situation. It's amazing. I, I worked for a small guy that had those small contracts. He was paying me pretty decent. But he didn't, he didn't, the, the truck had problems and, uh, you know, you gotta rent the trailer for a thousand dollars a week and all this other stuff. But he was paranoid. I think his brother had passed away or something like that. So uh, he got killed out here in uh, Edinburgh or somewhere in Texas. And uh, I guess it kind of like mentally just like made him paranoid, him and his brother and his mom. Everybody's paranoid. It was the craziest thing in the world. They were always asking me where I'm at. I'm like, dude, I'm in your truck driving down the street or whatever. So he was like, uh, like $50 gas is missing, you know, because uh, the liters take you so far and the gallons will take you here or whatever. You should have a decent miles left over. He's never been in trucking. I've been trucking for like 10 years now. And uh, people got to understand that you leave the truck on all night long and they just, it, it boggles my mind. Like, uh, the thing is, he's struggling and I, and I, and I don't want to talk bad about him, you know. But I, I almost started hating hating a certain group of people, but I realized I can't do that. It's not fair. Because we got bad Mexicans, we got bad blacks, whites, Puerto Ricans, whatever you are. But I started coming out here looking at these players. But we are gonna get up out of here because it's like living in Mexico. I'm glad I moved to Texas first. You know why? Because I'm living like, well, not this this part of Texas, like in the valley. My, my voice is sore. The reason why my voice is sore right now because I went crazy John John on it. You know, unfortunately, I had to show him the other side. He was like, he was a little paranoid and shit. I went buck wild on a nigga, like straight up, like ready. To, I was ready. He, he was like, "What's up?" So I jump out. I jumped out of the truck. You know what I mean? He wasn't ready for that. I think he was still looking for the nice, good John John. How you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Then when I get, when I go back into, you know, trying to hold my composure when I lose it because I got a family, bro. You can't just come to me and be like, you know, you gotta clear out your equipment. The thing is, I took the truck out to San Antonio the other day, and the truck, I kept saying, bro, it needs gas. It needs gas. It needs gas. It needs gas. He didn't want to give me gas, gas. So it got stuck on the side of the highway, and uh, I didn't want to wait. So I, I walked down the street. I had to go to Walmart, walk two miles just to go to Walmart just to put some gas. And this has happened more than how many times? Uh, how many? A few times. Right? A few times? Okay, quite a few times. Yeah. So I, all this could have been avoided, but you know, when you're struggling and you're trying to make it, and you you know, you know, you're, you're paranoid. You're like, hey, John, I'm broke, man. So I'm thinking about everything. Well, bro, you, you, you lost a good guy, man. You you know, straight up. I ain't say it like that, but I'm gonna give my money and get on my face, bro. You know what I mean? But yo, I literally just turned around, like literally just turned around in the same park, the same place where I parked my truck. There's brokers there and there's there's owners and you know supervisors or whatever. So I say, yo, you know what I mean? Even though I caused a scene out there, they still listen to my 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 argument. They they realize I wasn't nasty with them. I was just letting them know that I was loyal. I say, yo, bro, I was loyal to you, you know. And I, I was gonna quit when his truck broke down. And uh, he texted me and begged me, right, baby? Yeah. You know, to go back to work. And I I, I had a job, a good job. And um, they were like, you know, I had a good offer, and I was just about to fly out to Virginia to go do my, to go, you know, get the truck. And I said, I feel sorry for him. So I'll ride out and say, yo, we like family, bro. Don't trust nobody, man. Especially at the thing to, I mean, I don't mean to be like saying like this, but bro, if they ain't your own kind, bro, be careful of these people, man. You gotta make sure you be around them long enough to understand, at least for a long time. You know what I'm saying? That you care for me. Even though you are a different race, you care for me, bro. Cause I care for different people. You know what I mean? Big up yourself, Gina, and all my people out there. That's white. All my, I got a, I got white, ch half white children. You know what I mean? So, you know, you just, you gotta just be careful of what you're doing in life. You just can't trust everybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't even gotta hate nobody, but just be, especially if they're not your same race. I know it sounds crazy, but be careful because people are gonna look out for the same race if they're that type of people. I look out for anybody, you know what I'm saying? But even though I love everybody, if I see a black man over a white man, sometimes I tend to try to help out my kind. It's just the straight up facts, man. 
You know what I mean? But I will not, you know, uh, be prejudiced towards another person or whatever. It's just the way it is, man. Everybody looks out for their own kind. That's why you white, black, Chinese, Puerto Rican, Mexicans, and whatever. So anyways, I got a brand new truck, guys. I'm about to drive a, well, not brand new, but a 2019 Peterbilt. So we about to get this job. I'm about to go take this drug test and go back on the road. That's the good thing about a CDL license is that these people that even have problems, drug problems, and they don't pay you, they're liars, they're scandalous. You can go tell them to go fetch an egg, man. You know what I mean? And swallow it. Because uh, I don't have to stress myself out over it. I, I got a better, I ain't get a better route, but I got the same route, so I'm chilling. You know what I mean? Come on, puppy. Come on. I gotta take that garbage to the can. To the garbage to the can. You do it now, cause I was gonna do it. Nah, uh, I'll do it then. I'll do it. No, I'm gonna do it now, man. Yeah, I'm gonna do it now. Oh. I'm like, just imagine if I, uh, the things I did for you, you know, I fixed your truck on the road. Your truck broke down. Because you know, I know how to fix certain things, so I'm, I'm fixing this clutch. I fixed the truck clutch, like like a two thousand dollar tow. Then you gotta pay another fifteen hundred dollars get the get the clutch fixed. You know what I mean? And I fixed it for him. You know what I mean? His lights electrical problem when I was hit on his motherboard went out, and I rigged it up just to make all the trailer lights come on. Cause you would have had to tow that thing out of there. That'll never been a fifteen. Or you gotta wait until the morning to come get it. You know what I mean? You'd have lost your load, and I did that for you. When you was broke down, I stayed. When you showed me the truck and you was like, this is what it is, straight piece of shit. You know, I still dealt with it. And it was hot with no AC and I was burning up. I was trying to fix the truck, but I had to go with that one. So no no uh, AC, I dealt with it, burning up. He was like, I'm gonna get it fixed. He never got it fixed. Middle of the night, hot Texas sun, burning up. Some ungrateful bumble cleared people, you see me? So yo, don't worry, so vengeance is his say of the Lord. I wish nothing harm on him. But remember, when people do you good, you must, you must repay. And that's one thing. You shall reap what you sow. Remember what you do to people. So anyways, God bless them, man. But um, I was getting tired of it anyways. So I told my wife, I was like, thank God. You know, sometimes you just need to go on. Like, we've been saying, like, we wanted to get out of there. Huh, mommy? Uh -huh. Been saying we wanted to leave. Yeah. And, and I never did it. So, well, there it is. What's up, Ma? I said, what's up, man? Well, anyways, please, everybody, y'all gonna see my new uh, gig. I'm running from, from Texas. I had the option to run over the road. I'm not gonna do that. I wanna spend time with my wife and my family. Uh, so I'm gonna be running in Texas. Texas is huge, guys. Texas is like its own little state, which is pretty cool. So please stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys my new Peterbilt. I'm gonna show you my new boss. Um, there was, I haven't, I probably seen like 15 white people since I've been living out here in the valley, the valley, look it up guys. And I probably seen like maybe five, maybe 10, 20, not even black people. I'm talking about everywhere you go. If you go into a Walmart, you won't see nothing. The products are even positioned in a way for them to buy. They don't even have like a soul food section. There ain't no Jamaican food out there, no nothing. I can't get no, I can't, I can't get no sawfish. I can't get nothing, no Tesla. So I mean, I go left here, so quick, 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 fast, like quick cook, you see me? Cause we have to go quick cook something else someplace else cause I can't stay here, so. So I know if you watch this channel, you're gonna see me grow. Cause I'm right now, we trying to go back to Florida with my sons. We trying to get a truck, like box trucks. My son is doing good with AJ moving, big up to yourself. And he's doing good. He's like, yo, dad, I'm literally making good money. Everything you taught me. So I'm trying to like go into business with you for we can have multiple trucks. So that's what my wife and I is going to go do. You know what I'm saying? I tried this Mexico shit and uh, they're killing each other over there with bombs and kidnapping and all that shit over here too. But if I don't, at least I know how to hell over how to walk. You know what I mean? I know how to walk. Like I'm in Brooklyn. I ain't going down that street. But over there in Mexico, you don't know everything. I hey, love, bro. I got to go. <laughs> But much love to my Mexican community. But you know what I mean? Y'all gotta check yourselves. Big up to all my other communities out there. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and one love, man. We, we shall return.
we shall return, God willing.